steps toward recovery. As business owners replace broken windows after a weekend of unrest, many of those same business owners criticizing the response of the city and its police department. News 2's Riley Benton interviewed City of Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg earlier today. He joins us live in the studio with more on that conversation. Riley. Brendan, yesterday I took the concerns of business owners to the City of Charleston Police Chief Luther Reynolds, who says his department was prepared and followed protocol. Today I spoke, took those same concerns to Charleston Mayor John Tecklenburg, who tells me he defends the city's response to those protests. The protection of life was first, was the first order of business, then the overall safety of our city, and then property. Mayor Tecklenburg says he's proud there was no loss of life or serious injuries, but says he understands the frustrations of business owners. Well, if I were in their shoes, I'd be upset with me too, and our police department. Mayor Tecklenburg says he was working hand in hand with law enforcement during Saturday's protest and says he has full confidence in his police chief. These are some of the tactics that um, uh, that, that are appropriate in a riot. And unfortunately, it, it left uh, uh, an area of Upper King Street unguarded. Mayor Tecklenburg says while violent protests will be condoned, he says city leaders are encouraging peaceful protests in the wake of George Floyd's death. Peaceful protests is welcome. We want people to be heard, their feelings about uh, what happened in Minneapolis. We just need to ensure and will not tolerate a conversion to violence. Now, as businesses tear down plywood and reinstall windows, the mayor says he's finding hope through a difficult time. I acknowledge folks are upset. We're, we're picking up the pieces. We'll make amends. We're going to get back in business. And Charleston's going to continue to be the great city that we love. Mayor Tecklenburg and Police Chief Luther Reynolds both say unity is the path forward to bring the community and city back together. Live in studio, Riley Benson, Count on Two.